Hello everyone and welcome back. So this time we're we'll going to be talking about strengthening mechanisms for metals. Now for a metal to plastically deform, dislocations must move. Now the strength and the hardness of a metal is related to the mobility of those dislocations. If you reduce dislocation mobility, the metal gets harder. Um, and greater forces are necessary to cause dislocation motion. If you increase the dislocation mobility, the metal becomes weaker and softer. Maybe you want this. Now, neither of these is bad in and of itself. You just have to know what the application of this material is going to be. So, there are three ways we can strengthen or harden our metals by decreasing dislocation mobility. One is to reduce the grain size. Um, that means that even if there's a particular grain that has the right direction, it's a small one. It's, it's not much slip. Two, um, solid solution strengthening where we add a, another material in there like putting carbon into steel or um, making bronze when we mix brass and tin together sorry that's making brass by mixing copper and tin together and strain hardening which is cold working it okay we're going to talk about one of these today which is this the grain size reduction so grain boundaries act as barriers to dislocation motion. At least if we're trying to dislocate along that along that line across a grain, a grain. The grains themselves they can dislocate along these lines, but inside of a grain, if it's trying to dislocate, when it runs into that grain boundary, it can't really move much more than that. Because at a slip plane, um, changes direction when we cross the grain boundary. And so no longer is, you know, if this was the, if it just read the critical resolve shear stress, well then this one has it. So if we reduce the grain size, we increase the number of grain boundaries that it has to cross. There's more barriers to dislocation motion. This will increase our yield strength, the tensile strength, and the hardness of our material. So the yield strength yield stress is going to be based on the average grain diameter. The average grain diameter. And so as that diameter increases, our yield stress will decrease. And as our diameter decreases, our yield stress will increase. Okay, so that's it for this time. Thank you so very much. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Bye-bye.